Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Yesterday, we started work on the on the genetics lab, which is going to be kind of fun. They apparently just finished advanced genetic engineering as well, so we can really basically finish off this lab and sort of plan it out to make the most sense with all the different workbenches to see how much room we're actually going to need before we sort of set down a final uh, a final layout for that one. We've got our Boomalope Paragon, for better or for worse, incubating over there. 33% done right now, so we'll definitely see that before the end of today. Hopefully, we'll see a couple of others as well, because I'm really interested in some of the new things they've added to, uh, to genetic room. Bear in mind, I haven't played it for... It's got to be like a year now, right? Anyway, along with that, I actually kind of want to tidy up some of the lag that we've got going on right now. Because it's pretty goddamn terrible. I think the biggest, as there was a comment that pointed out yesterday, I do agree that the biggest cause of that is probably these aero fleets just breeding out of control. So the aero fleets don't actually breed. You know, in RimWorld, they don't require a male and female pair. They just split in half, basically. So we are going to go up to these guys, and I think we're probably going to slaughter most of them. We could add, I guess, a management bill to the AI manager and and have them called off when they when they're saved, you know, 10 of them. But to be honest, I don't know. They are kind of cool, though. Okay, fine. You know what? We will do that. We will do that. I was going to say we'll just kill them off entirely, but I'm fine with having just a couple of rounds. So we're looking for Aerofleet 76 tamed. My god, there's no wonder it's so slow. Now, we don't need any juvenile at all. Uh, and the adults don't produce anything. So, to be honest, we could just say zero juvenile, zero um, male. Uh, I don't know if they have. Are they gendered? Oh, I suppose they must be because that's just base remote mechanic, right? Um, actually, doesn't say. Anyway, so we'll um, we'll wipe those out. And then we've got ourselves female and male, five of each. And then we'll, we can also set them to be in a particular area as well. Butcher access, livestock. They won't do anything as far as I know. They don't drop anything. They don't give us anything. That I'm fine with. Um, so that should that should solve a lot of the lag issue, to be honest with you. Shia LaBeouf is going to be... Now, the only problem with these guys, when you kill them, it's very similar to a boom lope, a boom rat, a, a muffler lope, or whatever type of lope that you want to talk about. When, they, when they're slaughtered, they blow up. So we could also use them as a weapon. Actually, I wanted to check very quickly before we did this whether or not there was any genes that we could get from them, whether there was anything that we could actually extract from them here. Um, have we got, like, uh, boom lope, chicken, emu? Obviously, there is the patch for alpha animals. So I wonder if... Oh, extract non-specialized genes from any animal. We could bring their corpses over here and just extract a load of random genes. That could work. Alpha animal. Um, now, those are added by the alpha animals mod, I believe. But I don't think they count as... Yes, they are added by an alpha animal. I don't believe they actually count towards that. But we could give it a go. If we can get a load of alpha animal genes from... Because they're not technically alpha animals. They're just regular fauna added by that. Rather than like your, um, your, your Galatros or something like that. These are just the tiny little ones, but we can still give it a go, huh? Might as well. I mean, we could, um, what I do want to do is turn this into a freezer, have all corpses hauled over into here, all animal corpses besides the freezer, where we'll set in the Storicosaurus, because that will be our main source of food. And apparently we've got fish. Where are we getting fish from? Okay, um, I know we've got the fishing pier or whatever, but I thought there was barely any stock in that. Uh, apparently so. Weird. Okay, so so we'll do that then. We'll, we'll have all the corpses moved over here. We'll get Aiden as soon as possible working on the uh, on the actual freezer, which is going to be this side, isn't it? Oh, Corgi Sofa's on that one. Sorry. And then the other thing to point out as well, we've got a Glitter World Trade. Now, we've only got 9,300 silver, but we've got a lot of other resources we can trade away. So let's get my boy Trashy. Um, Trashy trying to sleep. Okay, who else we got then who is good at um, social? Slot Machine. Oh, Slot Machine. Where are you? Uh, there you are. Okay, perfect. Let's get you ringing these guys up. Oh, you've got a beak though. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. You are, like, mostly chicken at this stage, huh? Um, oh, my God, Slot Machine, what happened? Beak, oh, I bet they went on a binge and ate all of the eggs. We've still got 16. This is very dangerous to keep this many eggs kicking around, obviously. Um, huh. Well, Slot Machine is now almost entirely chicken. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sure you're still an adequate trader. Okay, um, let's take a look. What have we got, then? Oh, they do have animals. They've got, they've got a single, oh, okay, they've got a single monkey, which I'm not particularly interested in. You got a couple of boomlopes as well, which we could start a boomlope breeding program. Um, I, I suppose we don't really need it, do we, given that we've got the uh, boomer muffalopes. So they've got DNA, or we've got DNA, we could buy some, they don't really have very much, do they? I'll take a quick look through, see what they've actually got that we could find. Oh, here we go, look at this. Do I see some Arcotech stuff there? Coolant pump, oh, oh, that's for Androids, right. We've got AI chips, we've got, um... Oh, they actually don't have very much after all. Damn it. Evolved arm mace. Hey, this sounds pretty fun. Lymphatic proliferator. Boosting a human's immune system, rendering them immune to most common infections. Wow. Um, that sounds really, really good. I'll take a look through and I'll see what they've got. And then I'll update you guys when uh, when I've gone through this massive list. Sold some spare stuff that we got from the Federal. I think they were called Crucible Course. That earned us a decent amount of cash. I sold them some Plasteel too. In exchange, look upon my, my wares. 
Mutus Fringe Mega Sloth. Obviously fantastic. That sounds pretty fun to uh, inject someone with. This is the big one. We can turn Trashy into a Thrombo. That this is this is exactly what I had planned for our boy Trashy. And I think it's perfect for him as well. Um, <laughs> what happens if we eject... We'll, we'll have to stop it though, won't we? We have to stop the... Uh... We'll have to use the reverter. No, no, no. The stabilizer, which you use once and then... I forget what you guys said. You use it once and then it actually doesn't do anything else despite the fact that it says stops it for five days, which is fairly misleading. But we can start trashy turning into a thrombo. Now, as we found out with John, there is a warning that pops up on screen saying, warning, if you leave it any longer, you will turn into an actual full-blown thrombo. So, why don't we start the transformation, take it as far as possible, and then the second trashy is about to turn into a thrombo, we stop it. I think that's a great idea. This is a horrible idea, but I think it's also a great idea. What's it going to do to Trashy? I mean, I actually have no idea. I I don't know what sort of bonuses you get for that. Maybe he grows a horn, so he's unstoppable in combat. Maybe. Oh, I also bought that lymphatic prol proliferator, by the way, because that's uh, that seems just incredibly good. And we'll try and give that to John or something, so that we've got ourselves a relatively immortal colonist there. Um, where is Trashy? Trashy, what, what are you doing, my friend? Oh, he's, he's sleep he, Trashy sleeps in the Amber Hotel, so it's going to take him a while to get here. Slot machine, I'm so sorry. What has become of you? My god. Okay. Was that slot machine peeping as he walked past that? I honestly thought that was a uh, mechanoid or something for a second. Okay. Good luck, Trashy. Good luck. Oh god. Is it, has it started? Has it begun? Help? No, nothing? Uh, excuse me? I don't think anything happened. Maybe we have to wait a while? I don't think anything happened. Okay. Um, interesting. I'm sure that's not a worry. Uh, did I just seriously waste like 3,000 silver on a serum that did nothing? They sold a snake oil. Kind of a notice they're not actually being slaughtered here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They landed there. Oh, my God. My zoo. Um, This is bad. That's a lot of infested ship chunks. Holy shit. Uh, well, I guess we're in for a raid today. Okay. Um, Animals, you need to, you need to go. You need to go, like, right now, because this is this is really bad. Um, where should we send them? Caravan safety. That seems pretty good. Okay. Everybody, everybody go there. Oh, my God. All our animals are going to die. Because those things, when they drop, are just basically insect hives dropping from the sky. You know what? Just leave the aero fleets. This is genius. We can use them as a weapon. Leave the aero fleet so they blow up and kill the insects. Okay, animals, I've changed my mind. Aero fleets, you guys stay behind. You, you, you will uh, go down with the ship here. So you guys can... Aerofleet, Aerofleet, we want to say, what is it, zoo holding area? Uh, what did I call it in the end? Oh, is it this one? All oh, right, okay, apparently I didn't move all of them. We were like halfway down the list or something. Okay, let me, let me move everything, and then we'll stop when we get to the, uh, we can stop when we get to these goddamn Aerofleets. That's a lot. That is a lot. Aerofleet 40, okay, well, that's a great start. Um, 22 ship chunks, are you having a, okay, uh, this is going to be an interesting raid. A very interesting raid, given that, I mean, imagine if that would have landed smack bang in the middle of our colony. Holy shit. Okay, uh, I guess everybody get yourself equipped then. This is going to be a hell of a battle, I think. Um, where are you guys going? Where is caravan safety area? I should have probably checked that, by the way. Um, oh, it's in this tiny little room. Honestly, that's probably the best. Hello, friend. Uh, join me. I, th I suppose that probably is the best area for them right now, because there's no way in hell they're going to be hit by... Oh, no. Oh, God, it's begun. Fight them, arrow fleets. The arrow fleets actually might be able to solo this raid, and I'm not even kidding. Because as they die, they're going to get... The, the, the Mega Spider's going to go for them. They're going to catch fire, and they're going to take a lot of damage. I don't know if insects are capable of putting the fire out on themselves. Oh, God. Ian, 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 Ian. Okay, okay. So the people... Oh, my God. Look at Namey McNameface. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, okay, okay. Who's incapable of combat, then, in hindsight? So it's it's these these three, right? So you guys get over here. You guys get over here and hide yourself. Um, oh, my God. The death. The death is, is, is clocking up so fast. Right, so draft them, then... Oh, God, shit. I meant to oh, equip from RX. Okay, I think everybody's equipped, right? Um, we need to make sure everyone's got guns. I did see a comment that said, don't bother equipping the guns of the RX, and I do kind of agree at this stage, given that it seems to be a massive ball lake to do so. All right, um, should we stand behind here and let the insects come to us? I guess we'll uh, guess we'll sort of um, lay our siege here or something, huh? Right, everybody get into position. Obviously, a lot of people need to get the, the aero fleets. Well, it's going to speed up the game. Everybody else needs to get a gun. Where are our guns? Do we not make a load of assault charges? Um, well, they're not on the rack, so I can take... Oh, there's one. Okay, so we'll drop that on the floor. Um, 
Oh, God, this is so bad. This was supposed to help out with our management, and it's really not. It is really not. Okay, there we go. Um, and we've got steel pickaxe. Okay, that's fine. We've got a spare set of assault armor as well, if you want to get the robot over here helping things out. What about in here? Um, we've got a charge rifle. We've got muter guns, which unfortunately won't work on giant insects last time I checked. We have no other weapons rats, though, do we? Maybe we didn't finish the order of assault charges. Okay, that's something we need to look at. But everyone else is... I mean, a lot of people do have weapons here. Um, Trashy, you are not even equipped with anything. What the hell? Oh, does Trashy not have an armor rack? Okay. Um, Trashy, congratulations. You've got yourself an armor rack now, my friend. Um. <laughs> Rip on, everybody. 10 out of 10. Oh, my God. What have we done? Well, that's incredible. Thank you. That's, uh, I'm really glad I was able to experience that in this game. Okay, uh, Trashy, you are an okay shot. Oh, God. I don't want to waste an assault charger on you, Trashy. I mean, as in, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's, he's Trashy. He's the perfect best boy. But also, he's not that good a shot, is he? Um, name and name face. Come and grab another assault charger, if you please. Wow, it's still going, huh? It's still going. Right, there we go. Uh, robots, robots, robots. No, 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 no. Uh, right, deactivate all. What I've actually done is also destroyed some of the robots. I thought they were a little OP. Um, but... They're also lagging things out quite massively, so I've deconstructed. I've limited us to, like, three to five of each robot, like, five hauling bots, five cleaners, and then three of each of the other ones. Just because, oh, except for apparently construction bots, which I need to deal with. But they, they were just a little bit overpowered. I thought we'd kind of defeat the point of things. Okay, how are we looking? Um, Glinks, you... Oh, my God, are we really this low on weapons again? I guess it's because we've got a load of people new that are capable of uh, combat. We haven't had combat for what feels like ages. It's a great question, or at least I think it is. Uh, where are napalm blasters? Because those seem to have disappeared between last raid and now. I'm thinking that there might be some furniture that we put down in one of the hotels that is capable of storing weaponry or something like that. So, you know, every stay at the Jade Hotel gives you free walk around to the Napalm Blaster. Um, no, they are just gone. They are just straight up, just straight up gone. Okay, never mind. Uh, I can't see any in the stockpile. Just a, a cursory glance here. I'm not going to go through every single stockpile. But, uh, well, that's annoying. Okay, never mind. Um... I have no idea what happens to them. What I need to get is a more search agency mod so we can actually find these things a little quicker. For the time being, though, that will do. You know, actual kind of Shia LaBeouf and Glinks don't have weapons. That's fine. I think it's kind of overkill given that they're all just insects anyway. We already have a, pr a pretty powerful lineup, I think. So, um, how do you want to deal with this? Are they going to... Oh, they are going to head through to the... Okay, they're going to head over there, are they? So, we could actually just line up here and shoot them as they come around the corner. I think that could work out pretty well. Um, why are the turrets not firing? Oh, they are, but they're shooting at the... Ah, the obelisk. Okay. We might be okay. Now, let's get everyone else over there to come and help out. They're just going to filter through that main gate. The numbers account for nothing and all that. And I think a lot of these insects have already died. Do not eat my great devourers. I think, if anything, the great devourers will eat them. Oh, God. They're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, we can't hide behind our walls like cowards. We, we are going to have to come out and fight them here. Oh, there's a lot of them now, huh? Wow. Okay. Um, we'll just keep very close. I think we've got a good line there. And honestly, I think we should be able to put down enough firepower... This is why I've added a lot of redundant circuits as well, by the way. So you can see that we've got, like, running from this hotel, this hotel, this hotel. It should be able to power them regardless of what cables are cut off unless we actually blow up the turret in hindsight. Okay. We should be able to put down enough firepower here to to stop this from becoming a problem, he says. Unsure of whether or not that's actually true. Oh, God. They are getting quite close, aren't they? Whoa. Well, that dealt with a lot of them when that turret blew up. Those turrets are expensive. Please don't blow up my turrets. Man, okay, that's um, that's a big problem. Because of course, we get more drop pods coming from here. I think we need to add defenses actually inside. What I'm thinking is we put down embrasures rather than this wall. So replace all of this wall with embrasures. And then run a parallel wall on the other side. Um, obviously, I can't draw a diagonal. I don't know why I even bloody tried. But have this line with turrets. That way, if... Oh, yeah, actually, no, that will work. So say, for example... Sorry, I'm doing this in the middle of combat. But I think it's, it's worth pointing out. If we put them there... And then put another turret on the other side or, or embrasures on the other side directly behind it. Then they should be able to shoot both the enemies that come through this way. And enemies that drop in this area too. Or somehow break through the kill box. That might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. It might be necessary at this stage. Oh god, I've got to clear this off my poor fucking eyes. Good god. There we go. Thanks. Very cool. Okay. Come on, boys. Take him down. Just a few more. At this stage, we, we're definitely not going to lose. It's, it's about containing damage at this point and seeing... Sort of what we're able to salvage. Luckily, it's raining as well, thank God. I assume that is to do with the uh, flame turrets. One. Ooh, that guy got a little close. Go a little close. Be careful. I've actually... There's, there's a new mod that just hit the workshop that I'd absolutely recommend everyone to get. It affects the... Uh, it, I don't remember what it's called now off the top of my head. I'll check in a second. But it affects the pawn targeting, so they'll shoot the people closest to them rather than just the last... Or, or the, the person that they last acquired as a target. 
So it makes a lot more sense than what we've got in the game previously. So we've seen it many, many times. People running across the kill bots. They shoot this guy here. Uh, say there's another guy. Say there's a guy. Oh my god, I'm going to use planning here to sort of illustrate my point. But um, it, it's a much better mod. So say you've got three guys like that. This guy here shoots this one. He could just immediately start shooting at this one rather than the guy who's a lot closer, if that makes sense. So it's a really great mod if you've if you've not got it already. I'll make sure that I... Uh, I'll, I'll probably pin it as a top comment or something so you guys can download that one. Okay. Um, get to work fixing the place. We lost all of our aero fleets, I assume. Honestly... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that one. Oh, there are still a few insects here and there. Okay, in that case, um Alright, in that case, move as a unit. Let's move as a unit. Get over here. Do we have to destroy the ship chunks? Are they gonna they do actually reproduce as hives? So we need to take those out as soon as possible as well. Fine, we'll work on that to start off with here. Okay, everyone, no, hold your ground here, hold your ground here. Don't don't push any closer. Good god. They are still mega spiders, so they are they, they can do a lot of damage. We need to be a little bit more careful. My god, they soak up the damage, huh? Holy shit. Say that we've got some of the best weapons I think we can craft in the game right now. One of thing to do then, I guess, is sweep up. Oh, that's a lot of sweeping up to do. Um, let's undraft the people not actually in combat so they're capable of doing things. Let's re enable the robots so they can go and get the corpses at least. Um, right, here we go. So let's go activate all. Do we ever finish the did we finish the coolers? We did. Hey, nice work. Okay, so that one needs to drop down. These two here need to drop down to... Uh, I mean, preferably, I mean, minus nine is fine. And then these two need to drop down so that the room is cool, but not... What did I say with this one? Oh, that one had to be a, co a consistent temperature, didn't it? Of between zero and 50 degrees C, which, I mean, obviously, we'll just set these to 25 in that case. So that way, the heat's going to come through there, and then it's going to vent any excess heat and try and keep that to 25 degrees. I think that should work out pretty well. That way, we keep our incubators in this room, and we keep our... Actual fish, uh, fissible, freezable materials in there. Fissible is the fissible is the other mod. Okay, that should work out pretty well. Let's get everyone else quickly cracking open these. We get a lot of resources from this as well, don't we? So I guess it wasn't that actually wasn't too bad at all. That was quite it's quite an easy safe raid. Oh, what do we get? Is that insect jelly? What is that? Oh yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. Um, this will take a while. Bear with me. Question is then, what damage did they do to the actual uh, the actual colony? Set? Did I seriously just queue up all that? Apparently, you can't queue up melee. To oh my god, really? So I did this. Uh, and, and set up a queue for every single ship. But apparently they just go for the last one anyway. Wait, what? Yeah, no, they just ignore your orders. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Thanks, Remo. Very cool. So what damage was actually done then? We lost a... We lost a steel carnival feed. Obviously, the big damage done is going to be to the actual turrets themselves. That sucks. We need more turrets in the actual... My mu oh, I was going to say, where the hell are my muffle lobe? They're all in here. Right, okay. So we can unrestrict these guys now. Send them all back to... Uh, before they'll starve to death. Send them all back to their regular scheduled business. Goodbye, my friends. Wow, at least we dealt with the uh, at least we dealt with the aero fleets in a way that actually helped out the colony quite a lot. Hopefully they took out I, I think they took out a lot of those insects because it didn't seem like we fought that many in the end. Run, Ian, Ian, for the love of God, run! Oh my God, Ian Goldblum. Um, oh he's already been bitten. Holy shit! Ian Goldblum took a low stance while approaching the Ar 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 Acrocanthosaurus. Ian Goldblum tried to tame the Acrocanthosaurus. Uh, now, Ian, you need to fucking run like your life depends on it, because it absolutely does. Oh, clever girl. Come on, come on. Oh, my God, these doors take ages to open, don't they? Ian! Ian! Ian's dead. Ian is absolutely... Oh, my God. Ian, Ian, live. Ian, live. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. Well, you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. Wow, oh, my God, poor Ian Goldblum. Poor, precious Ian Goldblum. Um, it was 80% chance to attack on botch taming attempt. Um, please don't eat him. Just go away. Please. Just leave. Are you just gonna... I mean, do we have to deal with you now? You can't get through the door, surely. Oh, it's gonna bash the doors down? I mean, it's gotta go somewhere. It's gotta either bash the doors down one way or the other. Okay, team. Um, we may have a giant, very mad dinosaur coming for us right now. Can I get all the... Can we just have robots? Go home. Thank you. All, all the robots go home. Um, all the people, uh, luckily a lot of our people are drafted in their armor anyway, but obviously we wanted to deal with these bloody ship chunks more than anything else. Um, are they, are they good? Uh, what are we doing? Where's, where's John going? Moving. Okay, no, no, deal with this one. Deal with this one. Who are, where are the rest of our, oh, here's the bulk of our forces then. Um, is it chilled out? I think it's chilled out. I think it's chilled out, but it's trapped in this tiny little room and it will get very angry again if left there. Um, I don't know the best way to deal with this, I'll be honest, boys. <laughs> Actual cannibal Charlotte Buff turned up with his uh, with his pickaxe there. I think we should probably go around the other way and try and bait it out the top of the kill box because we need to recover Ian's corpse to either a resurrect him or b give him a proper burial that isn't burial by dinosaur. Um, okay, let's make our way through the kill box then, if we can. 
and then open the door from the top. I'm going to send as many people as possible. In fact, well, we should probably just send the quickest, which looks to be actual Cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, you know what? Everyone else wait there. Everyone else wait there in case of, uh, in case of big mistake situation. John, what the fuck? Why did he do that? I lit. Did you guys not see me click him to stop him doing that for a second? Unreal. Okay, uh, sorry. Where, actual cannibal, I need you to come back now if you don't mind. Run, run, run as fast as your little legs will carry you. All the game's not happy about that. Obelisk, obelisk, count me. Help me. Okay, here we go. Extinguishing fire. Oh, it's on fire. Quickly now shoot it, shoot it. Good work, okay. Wow, that was fun. Poor Ian. Poor Ian needs a proper burial. That right there, in John's hands, if you can, if you can vaguely make out those seven different pixels, is... Our boy, Ian Goldblum. Goodbye. Take him. I thought that John Hammond, uh, John Hermond, of all people, should be the one to bury him. Uh, you know, given given their given their relationship, their long-standing professional relationship with one another. Let's watch the funeral procession. Goodbye, little. Goodbye, little. Ian. Sorry, I can never. <laughs> I should be a bit more sincere in this time, in this in this in this dark time. Goodbye. He gets to go in the newly built, the newly created. Freezer, uh, in brackets, uh, burial room, tomb. Uh, what's it called? It's actually called a tomb. I believe it is, isn't it? Um, there's nothing. Can we not see that? Oh, uh, hang on. Excuse me. I'll, I'll there a second. Tomb. Yeah, there we go. Somewhat impressive, rich, quite spacious, neutral, and clean. So that way they get bonus recreation if they go and visit the, uh, the graves of their fellow people there. I've also set these to freezers as well, so if we ever do decide to resurrect them, we can. The next step, then. And this is something I never thought I built in this campaign, out of all things. Uh, we want to build a sculptor's table. Is that like an electric sculptor's table or something? Um, from what I can see, no. Okay, then, never mind. Let's put down a sculptor's table, and let's build a statue of glorious Ian, who will not be forgotten. At least, in my opinion, he won't be forgotten. Um, where are we going to put this thing to actually fit it in with the rest of the... Oh, that should work, right? That's still going to be connected up to all the cabinets. Let's make it out of something other than wood, though, so at least it does fit the aesthetic of the room somewhat. There we go. Steel sculptor's table. Aiden, I'm sure you're very busy either sleeping or working. If I can find you, you're sleeping. I need you to work on this straight away. This is for the memorial service for Ian Goldblum. Oh, come on. Already? Another bloody ship? Well, this one we've obviously got to deal with as soon as possible. This is going to be massive, isn't it? This is going to be massive, but it gives us our mechanoids that we wanted all that time ago. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave it. I'm, I'm actually going to leave it. I think they're happy enough to be able to take the mental brunt just to let the ship warm up for a little bit. We need to be more prepared. We need, I mean, this is where your anti-met rifles come in handy. Have we got anything else that will work well against mechanoids? Um, charge minigun sounds pretty fun, but we want the assault charges, don't we? I think we want to make a few more of those first. Four advanced components each. My god, I forgot how ridiculously expensive they were. Okay. Let's make some more assault charges. Now, what else was there that we wanted to build? I remember finding some some ridiculously good weapon. Um, maybe like some of these, huh? Like some of these ridiculously big, powerful things. Good for good for dealing with, I assume, big, high armor targets. Like your centipedes, like your mammoths. Um, Anti-mechanoid rifle. That sounds good. That sounds good. Um, and what, what is this one? Suppressive cannon. Sounds a bit pointless. Let's make a couple of those, then. J-I-A-M-R. If we, if we can afford it, let's, let's get them on that immediately. So we need to make sure our crafters and whatnot are set to high priority on that, which they are. We could also move John over to that, but I think he's good. Okay, let's get a couple of those trained out. We also want advanced components, obviously, is, is dealt with. We've got regular components, too. So it's just a case of making that and obviously finishing off the armor as well. So the assault armor helmets, which I think we can make from this one. Because, of course, you could. Why not? It's a tailor bench, after all. Okay, let's move this to the top of the list. How many more of those do we need? Um, it was, like, five... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh god, we need eight of the damn things. Well, I'll I'll order up four for right now because we don't want to, you know, too many advanced components to be cannibalized. When I think it's more essential to get the weaponry than the helmets right now. As life-threatening faulty pump. What am I supposed to do about that? We haven't researched any of the AI stuff. Faulty pump extreme. I don't think we can do anything to stop that, can we? Um, administer. I don't think I don't think we can help. I'm so sorry. I think Corgi Circus might be dead. Corgi Circus, our glorious android here. Might be dead based on the fact that I have no way of fixing this because, of course, we just bought this android from a trader. We didn't. We didn't do the research. Wait, the boom, the boomalope, the boomalope, the the boomalope, the boomalope. Uh, boomalope, 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 boomalope. Am I blind? Mycoid Colossus. Where is it? Kevix. Uh, bo Paragon Boomalope. Oh. <gasps> What is that? That's not a boomalope. What is that thing? That's disgusting. Paragon boomalope. It's so weird. Okay. Uh, welcome, I guess. What do you do? What are you? 
information. Um, tall, lean, un undulate, usually acts as a dominant individual on a herd of boomalopes. More resistant and stronger than the average boomalope, the Paragon boomalope carried greater quantities of unstable chemical-filled stacks. So no predator wants to even get close to them. Oh. Oh my god. Paragon boomalopes explode when killed with a greater force than regular boomalopes. They also produce large amounts of chem fuel. Whoa. Okay. Um, you're hideous, but welcome. I guess it's, I guess we could keep it in with the muffalopes. I, I think that makes some sense. Okay, let's go to our animals tab thing. So I think we've also got like a boom rat as well. So we'll put you guys in with the cattle then. Well, there he is. Okay, cool. And then we've also got an actual boom light there. We can send him with them. Very nice. Okay, I'll, I'll, we'll have to see what happens with that guy. I was kind of expecting it just to be a big sort of purple boom light or something like a pallet swap Mortal Kombat style. But no, that is uh, that is a that is a, a, a really horrible to look at animal, but it is an animal definitely. Holy shit. Well, there we go. Um, I, I guess the question then, what the hell is a paragon thrumbo? What the hell is a paragon any other big animal? Um, like a paragon bear is going to be huge. This is cool. Okay, I'm in. Uh, can we even make paragon thrombos? Oh, uh, we can't make... Okay, I, I might just got your hopes up there for nothing. We can make a paragon bear, which sounds pretty cool. Um, paragon muffalo. We haven't got any of the genetic material for half of these things, but I'm sure we can scrounge it up somehow. Um, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm interested. This is for your crossbreeds. This is for your... I guess just ultimate versions of a particular animal. Paragon, if you will. Okay, cool. Is that recall? We can extract genes and then turn them into something else, though. So we need a gene recombiner. You, you use just, like, your basic genes to turn them into a specialized one. That way, even if you don't have the... Oh, wow, we've got an advanced gene pod here. Shall I build that as a replacement? I think, I think we probably don't want both, right? We probably just want one or the other. Man, look at this. Gene recombiner gene. Duplicate as animal. Alpha gene pod. I'm in. Um, do we need an alpha gene pod and an advanced gene pod? That's the only question I've got now. Um, I have no clue. I have no clue how to stop this. So what haven't we got? We haven't got a recycler right now, so we can definitely put one of those down. Um, we don't have... So we've got the gene stretch table. We've got the pulper recycler and the... Wait, do we have a recycler? Genetic stretch table, pulper... Parag oh, so we've already got the Paragon one, right? Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing any here. Then we want... So we've got the Gene Pod. I think we need to replace it with an Advanced Gene Pod. I imagine they do separate things. We could just cram them all in, to be honest. Just to double check. Um, so we do want the Advanced Gene Pod no matter what. We want the Alpha Gene Pod no matter what. Animal Enrichment Center we've already got. That's this thing here. Uh, gene Duplicator we don't have. So I'm, I'm just going to ram them all into this very small area. And then we'll, um, we'll space them all out. We'll reinstall them depending on the actual room that we've got saved. And we definitely want one of these. That just increases the work speed, doesn't it? It's like your multi-analyzer. Gene Recombinator we don't have. Okay, you know what? Cancel that one. Let's put down a Gene Recombinator. Um, so that, I think, is the one that will allow us to make... Uh, genes from random species, so you put in like 10 generic genes and then you get one specialized out of it, so it's very expensive, but it's a good way to potentially, you know, randomly get thrombo genes or something like that. Then nutrient that we'll just put down, I guess, there, because that can still connect up to everything. That's going to be rammed, but we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll space it all out when we actually get, uh, when we get everything built and finished. Ultimate killing off uh, 72 aero fleets, whatever it was, 80 something aero fleets has definitely sped up the game quite significantly and removing some of those robots too. And that's the only problem with a series like this. Unfortunately, Remod isn't really built to have a shitload of animals. It isn't really built to make a zoo out of it because of, I mean, obviously, as you've seen there, the sort of compounding lag issues we get going on with the more and more animals we've got. We've got still a decent amount of animals going, but I think we're going to have to limit ourselves to basically four of each if we do actually want to get the zoo up on its feet because it's just going to be too... It's just going to be too slow on the game. It's just not built for it, unfortunately. So we'll, um, we'll see how we go press board. But right now, obviously, big, big problem is uh, this thing. So we've actually produced one of those JMR rifles here. The, the, sorry, J-I-A-M-R. So let's get this thing thrown on the floor. I guess someone just come and equip it very briefly. I want to see what it does exactly. So who's our best shot? I mean, we could give John. I'm going to rearrange the people in terms of shooting skill again. So move you back up there. Uh, Dominique, you are 18. Uh, you are 11, which I think puts you just above Trashy, right? Oh, wow. Actually, this is completely... The order's completely screwed up again, but that's okay. Um, I'll get this fixed very quickly, and then we'll get them equipped with their best weapons they can. In fact, that actually might more, more or less be it. Okay. So John is... Okay, Dominique is using a charge rifle. That's garbage. Get her with this one. I still want John to have a very fast-firing, very good range weapon. Bearing in mind, that will be... Can we wear the Assault helmet and the... I need to double check that. Can wear the Assault helmet and the Night Vision goggles. Left eye, right eye. And this covers... Uh, left eye. Okay, so we can't have the uh, Night Vision goggles and the Assault helmets. Obviously, it's whether we want defense or we whether we want more accuracy. I think the defense is probably better for us. Especially when we're going to be peppered by probably a hundred different charge weapons. Okay, let's test this out because this looks kind of cool. Um, okay. Okay, that's something. Um, can we just take a pot shot at, at something maybe? Uh, I guess we'll just fire it at a rock or something. Oh, God. Okay, that's interesting. Um, can we, fire it? we can fire it at a wall. Let's see what it does. Given that this thing is... Um, oh, my God. It's got a hell of a cooldown on it, huh? Uh, okay. 
It just fires one big bullet. It's just some super, super high caliber rifle. Okay. Hopefully it's better than the anti-met rifle. I mean, they, they had quite a high value, obviously, and the, the, the cost was quite high with them as well. So, fingers crossed that'll be enough. I have no idea how we're going to fight this. I really don't. I'm, I'm thinking we've got to set up a mortar or we've got to use this mortar to shell the ship. Actually try and bait them over to the base. So get them to come through. But the issue is they're going to attack the animals. Um, There's no guarantee they won't just go for the... There's no guarantee they won't just go for the Jade Hotel either. Okay. We might have to build a second defense line. We might have to build a second defense line if we want to deal with this effectively, at least. We could just roll the dice and, and watch them do a shitload of damage, but I don't really want to do that if we can avoid it. And now our great devourers are apparently starving to death, despite the fact that it says quite clearly they eat raw meat corpses, meals, processed foods, kibble, and lying on the floor is a load of raw meat. Okay, um... I... <sighs> God damn it. Um, why are you hungry? Why you just eat just eat the fucking food? Alright, um, let's put let's put a gate in this wall just in case of emergencies like this in the future. I didn't actually consider this being an issue. Um their eggs have gone as well. I assume they must have just died in the uh the heat, the rain, whatever has caused it. Why are you not eating? This could be a real pain in the ass. These animals are going to require this much micromanagement. Um, so let's go... What is it? The fences mod that adds this one, right? So fences, fences, fences. There we are. Okay, and then we want a high security fence gate, if you don't mind. God damn it. Okay, Aiden, I need you to work on that immediately. And I'm going to send an actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf with him as well. Given that he's our animal expert here. Let's get you... What's up? <laughs> the chicken lord that is actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. And we'll quickly get these things looked at. This is bad. Because I don't want to have to micro their meals as well. What the fuck? The second we built that gate, they left this area. They left this area. And then they went to go and eat the slaughter meat on the floor. What? I'm... <laughs> Come on. Just help me here, Remod. For fuck's sake. Okay, we need to put down some sleeping spots then as well. So that we can actually tend to the damn thing. This is just... I feel like there's a lot going on with this mod pack right now that is um, just too much. Right, so let's put down a very quick... I'm going to look for furniture here. And we want to put down a very quick animal sleeping spot. Just so that we can rescue this guy. Put down a few just in case we do get any extra Great Devourers. Right, rescue Great Devourer 3. Maybe it's because their zone right now was set to the holding area. To protect them from the um, the insects. Maybe that's why they can't eat in there. But, oh, right, and they can probably eat in here. Right, that might actually be my bad. Okay, never mind. Not not a big deal. We've got to sort these goddamn animals here. Oh, there's so many Storicosaurus. We need to kill some of these off, too. That would help out so much. Holy mammoths, you saved from this trader? Well, yes, I did just buy them immediately. Thank you very much. Um, I, th I figured they're the most appropriate things. We could go for a dinosaur zoo. And suddenly, it's all laggy again. Okay, uh, let's get these guys over to... I, I need to put a couple more enclosures. But what I'm going to do then, I think, between episodes is... Put down a new enclosure for the Storicosaurus. Just uh, somewhere convenient to the gate as well, so that we can obviously haul their slaughtered corpses out there. Don't know about you guys, uh, but I very much doubt the kids coming to our zoo would enjoy seeing a bunch of dead dinosaurs right by the front entrance. So we'll put this somewhat convenient, but also, you know, I don't want to use up too much space for them, because they are a bit shit. Um, we'll do something like that. There we go. That's, to be fair, it's using up this space pretty nicely, considering it's all just garbage swampland. Okay, and then we also want to put a front gate on there, maybe even a viewing dome, something like that later on. Um, let's get rid of this one then, put down a gate there instead. That way we can limit all of these guys to a particular area and not have to worry about them all pissing around. That way if you do get more drop pods, if we do get more mechanoids or something, we don't have to worry about being able to actually go and engage them like we are right now. Obviously we want to go and fight that thing, but if we wake it up then they're just going to gun for our animals. So the sooner we get the, 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 the zoo done, the less micromanagement there is. And honestly that sounds like a win-win. So let's also put down a, a viewing dome because they're kind of a cool idea. Um... Man, it's going to take up a lot of the enclosure, though, isn't it? Fine, we'll put it there, whatever. There we go. And then we'll put down the viewing dome entrance. So we'll put that one... Oh, does that not rotate? Oh, that's a bit shit. Okay. Um, it actually doesn't. Okay. Um, I guess we'll put it... Put it... Put it there, then. I guess we'll put it there. That's fine. Thank you all for watching. I think we'll leave that one here for today. A lot of zoo stuff and a lot of uh, raids as well, which is quite a nice change of pace given that yesterday I think we sat peacefully the entire episode, didn't we? So tomorrow we'll deal with this. We'll get a few more of those guns turned out. I think there are actually some being built right now by our extremely slow crafting bots. So don't, don't wait around for that one. That's going to take a hell of a long time. We've got our armor dealt with. We've got a little bit more of a zoo expansion, which I'm quite happy with too. And of course, a couple of new animals kicking around as well in the form of those big old mammoths, wherever they've gone. It doesn't matter too much. Hey, I think that's pretty good. And then, of course, we've got all of this stuff set up, too. So next time, uh, I'll also just make sure that we haven't got any duplicate buildings or anything like that. Try and, try and, I'll, I'll try and organize this lab in a way that makes the most sense based around, you know, the, the, the work radius to the nutrient mats, things like that, too. In the meantime, though, thank you all for watching. I will see you all on tomorrow's episode for some more fantastic war crimes. Today, the war crimes was fairly low. But tomorrow, with all of our genetic testing, I think, well, to be fair, we did inject Trashy with a thrombo gene. So I don't know if that's going to affect anything. 
In the meantime, though, a big thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. And a thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Golia, Sunakurito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Baking Kitten, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolin of Gondolin, Fukuna Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogla, Sarik, James Shea, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen. My name isn't Dio, Muskratful, Natbuskus from 911, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Scaz, Megma Stain, Somnus, The Forsaken One, Tibet Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McLam, Vacuous Backers, Void Prince Kibo, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Thank you all for your support and the lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well goes out to all of the other people over on Patreon and to the Twitch subs too. Twitch subs will be back soon. I promise. I've, I've been away for like many, many days and I'm having to turn out, you know, X amount of videos in advance too. I've been stretched very thin, but we will return to Twitch momentarily. In the meantime, as well, a thank you needs to go out to Ubu Daddy, Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Buen Gun, Best Best Max, Better Balloon, Black Double H, Chris, Corgi Circus, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Don't Call Two and Seven, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Gaz, Genji Circus, Gothamo, Gray, Hajidumar, Icarus, Ice the Great, Ida C, Jackson P, Jay Lehrer, Jacob Buffy, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Euron DeVries, Jeebus Crust. <laughs> Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nostrus, Nick, Noah Gallimore, No Organized Confusion, Panther Pearl, Pan Samu, Pan Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sagittaire, Sam Kears, Shari, Smirt 1, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The Wandering, Volunkery, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Bull Sinatef, Wolfie, Yorkus, Yellow 4, Zach, and Zico 2. Thank you all for your support.